Welcome to the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. Here's the seafood news for the week of January 21st, 2013. January marks the start of one of the largest food fisheries in the world. The Marine Stewardship Council Certified Alaskan Pollock A Season Fishery is scheduled to begin at noon on January 20th, 2013. It is not certain whether fishing will begin on the opening as processors and fishers negotiate over grounds pricing. The A season Pollock fishery produces highly prized roe for export markets. A later start to the fishery will result in higher quality, more mature roe. The initial total allowable catch is set at 1.087 million metric tons. The North Pacific Fisheries Management Council set the total allowable catch based on the acceptable biological catch suggested by, suggested by federal scientists. 10% of the total allowable catch is set aside for CDQ, or uh, also known as the Community Development Quota, leaving the initial total allowable catch. The quota is allocated as follows, inshore 50%, catcher processors 40%, mothership 10%. The A and B season will continue until the end of March. The C and D seasons begin mid-August and end mid-October. Pollock prices have remained stable over the past four weeks, with recent indication of price softening for both H&G raw material and value-added products. Russian H&G were trading at 1500 US per metric ton CFR China, but have recently come down to 1450 per metric ton. Alaska MSC H&G prices are not yet set as fishing has not begun, but prices are expected to range between 1750 and 1900 per metric ton. Global demand for Chinese processed fillets remains strong in Europe, North and South America. Prices for Chinese fillets range from $1.05 to $1.55 depending on moisture percentages. Alaskan Pollock fillets have been trading between $2.20 and $2.35 Seattle depending on size with inventories limited. We will further update you on pricing trends once the 2013 product hits the market. One factor that may have an impact on prices is a possible MSC certification for Russian Pollock. In 2008, two major Russian fisheries, the Russian Sea of Okhots and the Russian Western Bering Sea, entered full assessment by the Marine Stewardship Council. MSC announced a 20-day comment period on September 29th for the Russian Sea of Okhotsk Pollock fishery, a Pollock fishery, which may indicate pending certification. The process can be very slow and certifi certification could still be months away even with uncontested support of the stakeholders. <coughs> certification is retroactive for several months which means buyers may see an increased supply for MSC raw material and finished goods. To date, MSC has made no announcements for the Western Bering Sea and Navarinsky sub-district. The big question is what effect on the market MSC certification of Russian Pollock will have. It is expected Russia will push to drive prices for MSC certified products up, bringing them more in line with Alaskan raw material prices. Conversely, buyers will push to drive Alaskan prices down to be more in line with Russian raw material prices. Nobody will be able to answer until certification is complete. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson. Buy smart and eat more seafood.